Jesus. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Immortal Cave and we trust .blogspot.ca. As usual, I'll put a link to my blog in the description. Massive spoilers incoming. Um, so, I think I now understand why <laughs> they had one one-parter in this. Mostly because of the fact that they wanted to have a three-parter as the end of it. This is the second three-parter, I think, in the franchise, since the series came back, at least, in the history. The first one being, uh, probably appropriately, <laughs> um... Uh, do, 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 what is the friggin' name of it? The, um, The Sound of Drums three-parter from season three. Three, yeah, three. Um, this, okay. I didn't expect it to be a, a three-parter, mostly because of the fact that the names don't match. Which, if that was intentional, Okay. It makes the naming scheme a little cuter, a little bit cuter, and it makes that me a little bit more purpose. But again, I'm getting sidetracked. This this was fascinating. Um, this was extremely fascinating, actually. Uh, first half hour. This is kind of like um, oh, what was the blasted episode? I'm trying to remember now. I can't remember what episode it was this season, but there was one where the first half was meh and the second half was sweet. We were talking the two parters, I guess the first one. But, uh, this. First half of it, they bring back Riggsy from Flatline. And my first thought was, Flatline was awesome, let's hope that carries over. Yeah, more or less. This, this was pretty good. Um, so yeah, we've got. We've got Riggsy back. And he wakes up with a tattoo, and of course, the, I don't even know if this was a joke, but it's kind of thing, you, know, you, you wake up one day, you don't remember the day before, and you've got a tattoo you didn't know about. Call the doctor. But I'm Tish. They bring that up in the episode, but... Um, this. Okay. The first half was cool, because I brought up, like, the chameleon, uh, not, not the chameleon circuit, the, like, perception filters, and all that stuff. Yeah, da 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 Second half, a shield shows up. And I don't think anybody saw that one coming. I n knew she was going to play a much bigger part in this season because of the way that they kept showing her. Now, if she ends up being the next companion, that'll be interesting. And I still think that's very, very possible. And, um... Yeah, it's kind of confirmation in this episode that there will be another companion, because, uh... Clara's kind of dead. Um, and by kind of dead, I mean quite dead. Um, yeah. Rixi, that tattoo is a countdown to death sentence, basically. Ashilda has, like, this kind of, like, hobo village of alien outcasts from different areas. It's a sanctuary for, like, outcasts, that type of thing. Which is cool. But, again, what makes this so interesting is the fact that it is not is not some is when they find out start finding out stuff like uh, the reason he got the death sentence that a shield gave him the death sentence from this um, ec uh, I forget what he called it like an echo spirit or it's, it's it's basically like a countdown and there's like this crow raven spirit or I imagine it would be a raven spirit that kills you when that thing hits zero and she has control of it I don't know how she's immortal so somehow which actually well no actually never mind um well, maybe she might have been able to well no maybe probably not probably not probably not I was actually just thinking maybe she might have been able to pass that off to a shield that since she can't die but then maybe that might have gone overboard and actually the, the sheer concept of her going uh somebody take this death sentence for me doesn't quite fit but anyway again I'm rambling um yeah, he has the death sentence on her. And at one point, Clara goes, Okay, well, give me it. I'm under her prote Ashila's protection. Because it, they mentioned that at one point. And, you know, if worse comes to worse, I can do this. I'm under her protection, so she'll can't. She'll just call it off. Now, she can call it off of Riggsy, but the problem is she can't call it off of Clara because it messes with the contract she made with the Raven Spirit. 
it makes sense, but it's one of those things that you're kind of like, eh, eh, it's a little weak, but it's it makes sense, and that's that's the most important thing here. And uh, yeah, big moment where twelve effectively snaps, and lo- just he goes full on. Uh, good man goes to war, like t- full on Captain Runaway scene, a little bit angrier almost. It makes more sense with twelve. With eleven, it was kind of like Jesus. But with 12, it's, it makes a bit more sense because you kind of expect it from him. But at the same time, him basically saying, like, if you do not call this off or do something to get this off of her, I will bring in Unit, I will bring in the Zygons, I will bring in the Daleks and the Cybermen if you give me 15 minutes. I will, ra- his exact words were, I will rain hell upon you. I will, he effectively says, I will make your life a living hell. Which is, again, it even says something on the lines of, like, the doctor isn't here anymore, you're stuck with me. Which is, again, dark crap for the doctor to be going into. And this really is another one of Twelve's big things. Um, but yeah, I was kind of thinking that maybe they might have done it so that, you know, somehow she survives because she braved it or something stupid like that. No, she's dead. She... She braves it. Like, she's just like, no, no, come on. Don't get me. Like, just went out with... With, uh... She she went out well. Uh, the death was good. It's a little overshadowed. Because at the end of it, she, he teleports. But, I mean... At the same time, you still get that, that feeling of anger from him. It, again, it is a good episode, but... Here's the problem. I said something... I don't know if I said this during the Christmas special. I should have, if I didn't. But... When that happened... When they did the the fake... Clara death. Or Clara leaving. When she was old. Which turned out to be a dream. But... When they did that fake one... And... You know, obviously they did like the mirror of... Eleven's regeneration with the Christmas cracker and everything... It was a very sweet scene. It was very, very good. But that's the thing, is that it was the perfect end to her character. It was a mirror of what happened last time. It They could not have done a better send-off for the character. And when it was revealed at the end of the episode, no, she's not going away, well, that kind of... Eh, like it, it's, a, it's a shark jump, is what it is. So no matter what they did... As good as her actual death is, I assume this is her actual death, and she's just not going to show up at the end of next episode. That happens. That happens. I'm I'm just calling bullshit, <laughs> flat out. Mark my words on that. But um, this was, uh, but it, this was a very good. It was a very good send off to the character her being brave, and I kind of sensed it just from the way everything was going this season, especially this episode where she's being very, like, completely reckless, fearless, doesn't care. Like, you kind of got the feeling that she was, she really was not long for this world. <laughs> and we knew she was going leaving at the end of the season anyway. Now, granted, we've never had a, a death, especially at, like, two episodes beforehand, which is making me a little a little wary of this, that and the false death beforehand, so whether or not she's dead, dead, I don't know. But I will admit, uh, after the credits, there was a scene of Rigsy putting a memorial tour on the TARDIS, which is also very nervous, or very nerve-wracking, uh, because of the obvious implications of that. No, I don't want Windows 10. Stop asking me. My computer is bugging the crap out of me with that. Sorry. Anyway. Um, again, this was a very good episode, especially once they started bringing in stuff from earlier on. A, sh- uh, a shield that comes in, and it th- revealed that the whole thing was a trap because they, who, by the way, if they is not Davros and M- Missy, I'll eat my hat, um, revealed that they um, are kind of uh, threatening her and saying if you don't give us the doctor we'll 
will nuke your town, basically. It is kind of what I got out of it. Um, I was half, I was a little scatterbrained at the moment, but uh, I'm pretty sure that it was just, if you don't give us this, we'll blow you up, I guess. Or, or blow up your town, I should say. Um, and it was just very interesting that the whole thing happened, and it, it was revealed that, you know, what he was accused of was faked, and all that. And, man, it, uh, like, and, and she asked, well, what do you want? Well, we want your, your confession, the, the little disc from the first two-parter. Because if we needed enough more proof that it was in Davros and Matt and uh, Missy, duh. Then the confession comes up. So, uh, Ashilda took it. I'm assuming she's just gonna give it to them. Uh, the doctor teleported into, I don't know what, some kind of weird place. In his exact words, it was a place designed around things he's afraid of. I'm not sure. It, it, this is a very strange looking two-parter coming up. Whatever creature he's fighting, it looks messed up as hell, by the way, which looks really good. Um, this is going to be one hell of an end three. Like, this is going to be a hell of a part two and three. It's going to be a hell of a... This is going to be a doozy. Because the Doctor is still very pissed. So, you know, pissed off solo Doctor... It's going to be an interesting little learning experience at the extreme least of what's going on here. So, this is going to be a very interesting one. You know, uh, just for what's happening. I think it was, again, well written, except for a couple of little bits and pieces, nothing major. It was a fine episode. But as a part one to a finale, it... If Clara is dead... It almost feels downplayed, which is, I guess maybe they, they kind of anticipated that it might have been a little, that it might have been overshadowed originally. So, I will talk to you in a minute, Lady K, I will get to you. Two seconds. You just mute me. One minute. I'm talking to a friend of mine. Anyway, um, that two-parter. That, that that episode, though, I'm distracted. That episode was nuts. And it's leading into something that's going to be even more nuts. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you next week for Heaven Sent. The first part of the finale. Goddamn.